Hello and welcome. Today I will show you the way to find fun captcha and G-test parameters required by Anti-Captcha API. Let's go to the documentation page and go through those requirements. The fun captcha parameters are public key, API subdomain, and data. Let's see an example of these. Go to roblox.com slash login. Open the developer's console. Switch to the network tab and hit refresh button. Filter out requests by a Arcos Labs keyword. Fill in random login and password and click log in. At the network tab, notice a request with a path which looks like a serial number. This is the public key parameter. The request has type XHR which stands for XML HTTP request which is an API call made from a JavaScript program. Let's add a XHR breakpoint with this path and see the exact place in the code which made this API request. The execution is paused at our breakpoint, and Sources tab displays the JavaScript code which made this API request. Hit the Pretty Print button and shift your attention to the Call Stack column. It shows the chain of different function calls, one using an output of another function. Click down through the stack and search for new fun captcha or new Arcos enforcement which is its alias. Here is it. It has initialization parameters, but their values are not available. To see the values, add a breakpoint at fun captcha function call and reload the page. The execution is paused and we can now see the parameters values by simply hovering our mouse over their names. There's the public key, the ID of a DOM element where the CAPTCHA is inserted and the data parameter value. This is the one that anti-CAPTCHA requires to get your CAPTCHAs solved. Another parameter is the API subdomain which is simply the host name to where all XHR requests are made. In this example, it is roblox-api.arcoslabs.com. If you have troubles understanding where to obtain this data value, switch to the Network tab, clear the filter and go through latest XHR responses. The value of data parameter should be there. The next CAPTCHA provider which we will look into is G-Test. It has two versions, number 3 and number 4. The third version requires parameters GT and Challenge. GT is a permanent public key, and Challenge is a string that can be used only once for rendering CAPTCHA widget. The fourth version usually requires only GT parameter. We start with the third version, its example is located at login.flyme.cn. Open the developer's console. Switch the network tab and hit the reload button. Filter requests containing keyword get test. We are looking for request path which contains get type.php. 
the address already contains required GT value as a query parameter. Next step is to switch to Initiator tab and find a function call with name init test. Click on the script link next to it and add a breakpoint inside the function body. Hit the refresh button. The execution pauses at our breakpoint. We go up the stack and find the place where init test is called. Here we find all the parameters we need, including the challenge key. To learn how challenge is updated, we can switch to the network tab and look for XHR request to the back end. Google Chrome sometimes glitches and doesn't show output of the request. To get the output, I use this trick, open the context menu, select copy and then copy as CURL. Then open the terminal and paste the code. This will reproduce browser's request to the back end and we will see its output. To get it working on Windows you need to additionally install CURL tool for Windows. This is our challenge key, which is required by anti-captcha for gtest version 3. Another optional parameter is API subdomain, and it should be explicitly specified in init gtest function call. In our case this parameter is not present in the function payload, and therefore not required. Version 4 interface is a little bit different than the third one. Go to bitget.com, open Developers Console and click Sign Up or Register button. Fill in some random details and click Sign Up to see the CAPTCHA. At the Network tab filter all requests containing gtest. Look for request with load keyword. This request has CAPTCHA ID parameter. Use it as GT value for anti-CAPTCHA API. Note that the challenge key value is also there, but we won't need it. Do the same as with version 3, switch to tab initiator and look for init G test function call. Add a breakpoint inside the function body and hit reload button. Go up through the stack and find the place where init gtest4 is called. Note that in this case the payload contains just a few parameters, the most important is CAPTCHA ID and other are insignificant and can be ignored. Use the CAPTCHA ID key as the GT parameter. That's all. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your projects.